We're now going to learn how to swallow your new way with real food. You've been able to swallow quite well with saliva in your new way. So what I'd like you to do is to take one of these biscuits, take a fairly small bite, chew it as you would normally, but then swallow in your new way. With your tongue up in the spot, back teeth together and lips pulled back. Terrific. Did you have any trouble with that? No. Went down really well? Yes. Okay. Would you like to wet your mouth again? Right. And take another bite. Same thing. Mm. That's right. So when you finish chewing, tongue up, back teeth together and lips back. We're now going to learn how to swallow liquid. For this we're going to use water to start with. You've got a cup in your hand. What I'd like you to do is to take a fairly small sip of water, put your tongue up on the spot, back teeth together, lips back, and then think kick as you try and swallow the water down. Great, that went down with no trouble at all. Would you like to try it again for me? Terrific. Sometimes people have trouble with their water. Um, they might have it dribble out as they're swallowing, or they might fog the glass if they're using a see-through glass as they're swallowing. You didn't have any trouble with that, but if you do, it means that your swallow wasn't done the right way, and you should try again with your tongue up, teeth together, lips back, and then thinking kick. Just try one more for me. Terrific. You've already learned how to swallow in sips. We're now going to learn how to swallow quickly or fast drinking. What I'd like you to do is to take the glass up to your face to put your lips tightly around it, have your teeth slightly apart, tongue tip up on its spot, and then as you pull the water into your mouth to feel the suction against the lips and your cheeks as you do so. Would you like to try that for me now? Great. And where was your tongue when you were swallowing? Up the top. Right. You didn't feel like you had too much water pouring into your mouth? No. Good. Would you like to try it once more for me? Mastering these exercises ensures the correct movement of the lips and tongue throughout swallowing. Exercising the soft palate encourages closure of the nasal passage and ensures all substances swallowed follow the correct path. Uh, uh, uh. Gargling is a good way to exercise the soft palate and at the same time strengthens the base of the tongue. A good time to practice this is after you clean your teeth. Because we swallow when we're asleep, an auto-suggestion is used to facilitate the correct swallow while sleeping. Swallowing five correct times with the lips together prior to going to sleep should affect the subconscious during sleep. Other members of the family can be of support by checking once you are asleep. The lips should show no movement and the mouth is closed. This ensures the tongue is in the correct position. Mastering this new way of swallowing, both liquid and solid food, comes only with practice. Some food is easier to swallow than others, but perseverance is the only way to achieve results. I'd like you to make Practice for the first week is devoted to mastering the slurp swallow and strengthening the tongue. Six correct swallows are completed the first day. On the second and third day, six correct swallows are practiced in the morning, afternoon and at night. By the fourth day, the swallow should be improving, 
so 12 correct swallows are practiced three times daily and continued until the end of the first week. The elastic lifters should be used once a day. Convenient time for this is while studying or watching television. Try to extend the length of time the band can be held up to the alveolar ridge. By the second week, practice is consistently completed three times daily, preferably in the morning, afternoon and at night. The practice consists of six slurp swallows, three tongue clicks, twelve ch -ch -ch for the first two days, then twelve ch -ch -ch slurp swallows. It's preferable to complete the practice in front of a mirror to check the tongue placement. Specific practice for the lips should be completed once daily with the card placed between the lips for extended periods. Week three, and again practice the following three times a day. Six ch -ch slurp swallows, three tongue clicks, and 12 tongue kicks. Practice eating a biscuit for the first two days and then swallowing the new way for one meal a day. By week four, you should begin to feel comfortable swallowing food your new way. All meals at home are eaten with the lips back. Practice drinking water for the first day in sips and then continue drinking all liquid in sips. Practice gargling each time you clean your teeth. By week five, eat all meals with the lips back. Drink in sips everything that would normally be sipped. Practice fast drinking with two glasses of water a day. There should be no more old swallows during the day and continue gargling after cleaning your teeth. By week six, you will be quite competent at swallowing the correct way. So when eating, the lips need only be back for one meal a day. The lips can remain forward for all other meals, but check the tongue position is correct. Drink at all times the new way. Ensure the mouth is closed during the day. Practice five pre-sleep correct swallows with the mouth closed before going to sleep. Ask a parent to check once you are asleep that your mouth is closed and that there's no lip movement when you swallow. But what of the outcome after completing six weeks of constant practice? Well, we're now capable of enjoying all foods, automatically swallowing our new way. Signs placed strategically around the home 